channel. I am your host today, Ellie Janae, your space curator as well. And today we are going to be doing um, game instructions on the back of cardstock. So it's kind of like a cute little way to file away your favorite games that are virtual and your favorite games that, you know, might have lost the instructions or something like that. So the first thing that I'm going to do is, of course, go to the design, A4 design that they have within Canva. Um, here um, is the purchased, I guess to say subscription is what I have, but the dimensions that it has in inches is 8.2 by 11.69. So uh, this is basically the same printout that you will be printing on a 8.5 by 11. The reason why it's a little bit bigger in length and um, width is simply because it has to um, you know lay out perfectly on the piece of paper so it gives you the exact amount it needs so let's not get distracted the first thing that I want to do is take out a square and I'm gonna hide that and it doesn't matter what the square is my favorite color clearly hence my logo um, is blue so I'm choosing a navy blue and I'm making sure that the blue actually supersedes the paper. So it goes outside of the paper. But what's important is that I want to make sure that it's uh, two inches high. And since I have that two inches high, oh, just change it. Let me update it here again. So it's two inches high. And what we're looking for is that H, you see how those numbers go up and down every time I do this? I'm looking to land it right at two. I'm going to do another one um, and I just press copy and paste or you can press this button up here where it says duplicate and um, then I'm going to kind of like make sure that it's guided right on top of the other so it should show you a little break in between the two boxes to show that it's not overlapping now I'm going to group these two together and then position them in the middle of the page so this allows you to see a clean break um, on your piece of paper um, and then whenever we begin to print then we'll be able to you know what was it take or remove this but for the most part this is just a great place to uh, start so it's in the center so now it's time to actually download the instructions okay so this time I actually chose the game Monopoly and um, it's just a game that everyone knows but there's virtual versions of this game and also you can find a lot of virtual um, games online that you can you know copy and paste their instructions or details um, as well so of course there's a lot that you have to purchase and you can make up some of your own but this is just a really cute way to have a good little collection of how to play the game so anyway every game has a goal every game has the directions materials and a, a, a you know initial setup of how you um, prepare to get into the game so what I'm going to do first is do what I just did, um, which is copy and paste all of the rules to the game and just set it up at the top until I'm ready to actually edit it down here at the bottom. Um, <clears throat> you can also open up another page down here and put all of the details um, within your you know, game down below on a blank sheet of paper versus actually having to um, you know mess up the other side because maybe this side is full and you need the bottom side So you can't put the details at the top. So just open up new sheet of paper All right, so now I'm going to actually um, Try to fill in this space with the most down below. I'm going to kind of make sure that it's like the most legible um, And has the most ooh, let's see I'm going to put it down here and I'm going to make sure that there's like no unnecessary breaks and spaces because it is a pretty tight fit. Um, just keep in mind it's the size of a sheet of paper so it's not a bad thing if you have very small words like eight, eight inches, I mean eight inches, uh, if it's a size eight it's actually a good pretty, a pretty good size whenever the paper is right in front of you and I'm going to actually change all these to eight. Eight. Let's do it. All right. So um, the gameplay, I usually like to put that at the top. I like to put the goal at the top as well. And I'm going to do it here and make sure that they're positioned to the left. And I'm going to come back through and make sure they're positioned correctly. And then I'm going to have the materials 
down here. Yep, and they still fit. And then I'm gonna have the setup down here as well. All right, so you can like design this any way that you like. I am sincerely not going to go a little all overboard. I'm gonna keep it pretty simple here, but there's a lot of game um, downloads that you can download from my library if you are interested. But for the most part, <clears throat> I'm just gonna show you what I do here. Um, and then I'm gonna play, select Monopoly. Or I'm gonna type Monopoly. Monopoly. And I believe, let me see if I'm right. Monopoly, I wanna get it as close, or I'm gonna see if I can get it as close to the actual brand name itself. Okay, okay, it's pretty standard. Um, and I'm going to use, I don't think that's gonna work. I'm gonna make sure it's that big. Libre, I don't know, let's see. Affront, well I like that. So here you can, you can resemble the game um, logo if you want. You can copy and paste the brand logo if you want. Or you can have it look like all in one, you know, the same type of logo, um, the same type of font that you like for your, you know, for all of your cards. So I am probably going to do that because I really don't care for that Monopoly. And I'm going to use Afra. Afra is cute. All right. And then I'm going to have Afra go to the right side. I'm going to have it re read Monopoly or the game title on the right always for me. And then I'm going to make sure that everything else is Afra as well. So it's pretty small. This font is really nice and small. So I'm going to see what 32 looks like. Okay, it's completing. Let's go down to, and then I'm going to make it all capital letters. And then I'm going to do gameplay like this. And then I'm going to keep these the same size. The title is the same size. Afra. FYI, there's a way quicker way of what I'm doing to do this. I just am just going through this. Maybe because it's a peace of mind. I'm not doing it individually. So make sure that everything is pretty legible, um, everything looks right. If you need to space out the letters to make it more legible, definitely do that. This is definitely where you have a creative say in what this card would look like. Um, I'm going to put all the words to the left side of my text box simply because I do like them all lining up. Uh-oh. And making sure that they're all positioned to the left side. That's just kind of how I like it. It makes sense this way. Um, you can add lines like uh, or you know more text boxes if you want to. I'm gonna close this and um, you know this is just probably a cute way to organize your paper your page as well and I can do this kind of like a really light color you know use my typical brand colors and I can make this white. All right, so I'm gonna change these letters as well. Let's see how I want to do that. I think I like that. I might go for something a little bit more standard. Yes, it's adorable. I almost forgot what I chose. Again, I'm doing it the difficult way. You can bring this up a notch if you would like. I think I do. I do like it that way. So this is a very simple sign, very, very simplistic sign. I really like how it looks. Um, it's pretty much ready. And, um, you know, I just want to display some options that you can actually take the game rules or additional game information and put it at the top and upside down if you want to. I'm just going to copy and paste this. I'm going to actually group it together. And then I'm going to duplicate it or copy and paste and then flip this upside down. And look how that looks perfect. So I don't mind 
that this instructions, these instructions are very close to the end of the page because when it's time to print this out, it's going to be, um, it's going to have a slight border around the actual image itself. So it'll be all right, like completely okay. So, all right, so what are we going to do from here? I'm going to duplicate this page. I'm going to delete all of the content here and set this up for the next round of instructions that I want. Um, as far as for this page, I'm just going to take out this middle part and now we have a healthy distance between both of the instructions and it's ready to print. Whenever I print this as a PDF, I'm going to select the page, um, of course, with the image and I'm going to download it. I make sure that I don't print within the downloaded um, item. I, I'm going to actually go into my documents. Okay, so because I am in the Social Distance Thanksgiving gift set series, for my channel, I chose this cardstock right here and made sure that the cardstock was blank on the other side as well. Um, you could also have cardstock that is already cut down to A4 paper size, but I'm going to cut this one down to 8.5 by um, 11 because I like this paper vibe right here and I'm going to use this. So whenever you put this in the printer and it's at the right appropriate size, make sure that your, your paper is actually facing blank side up on this side. And that way you'll get that perfect printout within your printer. So let's go ahead and get this puppy printed off. We have the printed paper facing side up. We are now ready to print this bad boy. Now, I just go through the document and I love how close it is. It's in the PDF um, format versus that download format. Um, and it's showing that it's very clear. All the lines are doing what they need to do and it's pretty much even and perfect on this display. So next thing that I'm gonna do is select this printing um, icon right here and my whole job here is to make sure that within this gray area around the I guess say preview um, there aren't any letters that are you know going beyond that um, I guess say threshold or little safe space right and if it is you just look at the scale on the top left hand corner and see that if you're at 91% 100% 50% whatever it is you can go down here and do a custom scale and manipulate the actual, you know, where you want it to actually lie into, you know what I mean? But I'm just going to go ahead and do fit. Fit works perfectly for me. I also want to highly encourage you to print uh, only on one side. Um, the My automatic default says print on both sides. Do not do that or else you're going to mess up the cardstock on the other side of the paper and you do not want that to happen. Had it to me happen a couple times and I wasted a lot of paper. Um, Needless to say, I was pretty pissed. But none, nonetheless, I think this is pretty perfect. If you do more than one copy, double check that print on both sides, make sure that it fits. And um, if it's in black and white, just save the ink toner type thing if you have it very, very dull um, and go ahead and save yourself some ink. So in saying that, I'm just gonna go ahead and print this and we're going to go right back into completing or finishing up this card. Okay, so we got the print off and I'm so excited about it because it looks so clean and it looks so nice. Um, like I said, um, this printer or any most printers, they usually add like half an inch to the sides here. And sometimes they add a, a little bit of you know room at the bottom as well. I'm not going to cut off the bottom because it actually landed perfectly for me for this card set. But I am going to take out this cutter here and cut off half an inch on both sides. Um, that way we have some really clean, whoa, that was aggressive. Um, that way we have some very clean, um, edges. And of course, as you can see, the boxes are going off on the side. You know, I don't want to, I don't want that to be on my end product. Oh, it's being, this is not thankful. Let's try this again. Here goes one. We're gonna do a half an inch on this side as well. Oh, 
Okay, so now that we've got half of an inch on both sides, um, I usually like to cut, I like to, first of all, double check and measure out the, um, the card itself again. It's 11 because we cut down 11, but half of 11 is 5.5. And that's how you get the exact middle of the card. And it should at least print out, you know, evenly spaced out card for you. Uh, right, so you could either stay right here and, you know, be like, I am proud of what I see. This is what I want to give off. This is exactly what I want. Or you can make tabs because you might be like me and want to organize them as well. So what I usually would do is take my We Are Memory Keeper tab maker. Oops. You know me, I'm just going to always throw my shit around. Um... <laughs> I am going to actually make a tab for this, um, and I usually just punch it, punch it out, move this marker here so I do not lose it, punch out this side as well, and then go to the other side, and then cut off the excess or the remaining cardstock. So... Oops, uh-oh. So with that two inch break, that allowed you to have the perfect cut at the top of your, your card set. So it's absolutely adorable. So I'm gonna show you that again in fast motion. All right, so it cut out beautifully as well with the tab on top of the words. So the whole idea here is just to make sure that you have the perfectly evened out um, template. And that's a way that you can be able to start that. Now, I like to have, <clears throat> you know, my cut a little cleaner. I don't know what happened to this paper. I don't know how it got so, like, uneven. But nonetheless, um... I like to round off my corners just because that's the type of clean approach that I like to go go by. Uh oh, there we go. You can also round off your corners with your. See, I hate whenever that happens. So let me flip this over. You can also round off your corners with your um, tab maker, but um, I find this out. I find this to be very easy. And there you have it. Look at that. Oh my gosh. What a cute little set. Um, you can definitely make a box that goes around this. Um, let me know if you want to know, uh, see how the box is made for these. Um, and uh, also let me know if you are going to do this for a Thanksgiving gift. This could be a great Friendsgiving idea where you print this out for your friends at Friendsgiving and play one of the games. Um, this is also something that you can send to your friends and family for virtual games as well. So that everyone can know the instructions before hopping on there was like, what, what do we do? What we, you know, they have all of the instructions and things that they need here. And they have this cute little background that is very cute and themed you can do this for any holiday birthday or whatever so in saying that i am your host ellie janae your slash space curator and we are curating um a game experience here um and this is the last of the series social distance thanksgiving so tell me what you think about this series if you have any ideas um please uh tag me on um at ellie janae um, on Instagram, Pinterest, and of course, Facebook. And then of course, like, subscribe, and comment onto my channel. I love hearing from you guys, and I look forward to doing more projects as well. So um, check me out on my next live, because I'm going to come to you with some more Thanksgiving ideas. Bye. Uh.